Welcome back to Trade with CJ. We have some big news just in regarding a potential short attack around Torchlight Energy. Torchlight Energy is a stock that we've been covering for the past few months and we have some very big catalysts coming up and a potential merger happening very, very soon with Meta Materials. If you appreciate these updates, please go ahead and smash the like and subscribe to my channel as well. So first off, a short attack. This is when a company will release an article or something like that, which is basically damaging to the company. This is a short seller's report. And the aim of this is to get people to sell their shares so the company can make some profits because maybe they have shorted this stock. So the more the stock goes down, the more money they'll make. Or maybe they just want to sell this off so that they can buy in at a potential cheaper price. That is always another potential reason here. But the overall uh, idea of this is they want to make sure that this price Falls. So people will release short articles in order to get the price down. However, Torchlight Energy are one step ahead of the game. They're predicting that this may be the case. Just a few hours ago on their Twitter feed, we got this. I must admit, a short attack article is coming out this week. I received these questions on my Facebook page, not directly to the company like a reputable firm would. He did not state who he was with or the true reasons for his questions. This is just a fair warning and I will answer. And he does go on to answer these. So this random person has messaged him on Facebook and it basically says, Hello, Mr. John uh, Brader. We are issuing a report on your company, Torchlight Energy, reverse merger with Meta Materials next week. So this week coming. The report will be published on Benzinger and Barron's website. It says two questions, although it does actually list off four questions, but uh, nevertheless, has the chairman, Mr. Greg McGabe, already sold his 4,100,000 common shares? Fair question, okay, we'd like to know the answer. Question two, have you issued new warrants uh, in February to April? Question three, on February 16th, you announced that a secured note holder took 1 million shares at one dollar fifty is there a lockdown period or do they sell these shares and question four is is you personal common shares though not very good grammar for sure uh, lockdown up to the merger or you can sell any time before the merger of meta for example can you sell shares on the ex-dividend date would much appreciate your reply before we publish our article now what i would say from the get-go is the the way this was written this question for a start is awful Okay, it is rubbish. If an article is going out, I'm pretty sure it won't make for a very exciting read. It's going to be grammar mistakes all over the place. But nevertheless, uh, Torchlight have said thank you for visiting, etc., etc. But they do go on to post their uh, question. So yeah, the grammar was really bad in that. There is no reputable company. However, it's very strange that a company would say they're publishing an article on this particular website in the upcoming week and asking specific questions, which, you know... Maybe they're trying to dig into this company. Maybe it has good intentions, but generally an article like this would probably sound like very suspicious, nevertheless. But anyway, they do go on to answer these questions, which we are very, very thankful for. Has Mr. Cabe already sold his 4,100,000 shares? No, he's nor Mr. Cabe nor any insider has ever sold a share of stock, which is amazing. The insiders are not selling, okay, which is great news for us as investors. Two, have you issued new warrants? The answer was no, another great thing. We don't want the warrants to be going out. We like the balance sheet as it is. Number three, you announced that a secured note holder took 1 million shares at 150. Is there a lockdown period or did they sell their shares already? The answer is there is no lockdown period. Okay, which is good uh, in, a, in a way and, and not so good in another way. But anyway, any investor who puts up their hard earned money can hold or sell their shares at any time, which is what we want. The conversion price for their shares was set we're trading around 0.50 per share. The outcome was certainly positive for us and hopefully the holder. I do not ask what the holder does uh, or does not do with their shares. It's none of my business nor anyone else's. So uh, a great response there, you know. Very random to ask why this person has sold their shares. They're just somebody who's, you know, bought some shares around a cheaper price, etc. But yeah, the answer is no lockdown period. If they've sold, they've sold. If they haven't, they haven't. Really, it is nothing to do with them. You know, that's up to them and themselves. And then question of four here. Uh, is your personal, the one that was all written bad, uh, it says answer, poor grammar aside, um, I have not ever sold a single share of stock in 11 years since I founded Torch. That right there is what we want, okay? He's not selling any shares and that is that is very inspiring and uh, yeah, definitely good for us as investors to see that the CEO or the founder has faith in his company. I'm not in a long-term lockup, 
but by SE144 and internal rules, I cannot sell until such time as all information that I may have is available to the public, including financial statements. Uh, currently, we are in a blackout period, so no sales are even possible, even if I choose to sell. In addition, if I sell on the ex-dividend date, I do not receive the dividend, as we know, and I've uh, held through that date to receive the dividend. I will make selling decisions based on what is good for me and my family, just like I always have. To date, that number has been zero. So he's not uh, saying, you know, I'm, I'm in this for the next uh, 20 years, because uh, he's, you know, there's a part of me that reads that and think maybe he's considering selling. However, that's up to him. You know, he hasn't sold for 11 years and we can only go on the facts. That is a fact. He is not sold. We can't go on to what could potentially happen in the weeks to come. However, uh, there's very solid answers there from Torchlight. So what reason I'm making this is because we could be expecting a short article coming out. And what does that mean? That generally means people will sell shares in fear. If we look at the current stock price, we're currently trading for 182 per share. We had a good green week last week. Overall, in the last week, we're up 30 very nice indeed. But if we do go back to six months ago, we can see we're still substantially down. We was at 429 at one point, middle of February. From those highs, we are still down 57%. So we have seen this sell off massively. We have the merger to come. We haven't got a, a, a final date yet. We are still waiting for that on the Torchlight side of things. However, things are starting to look a bit more promising now for Torchlight and its shareholders. And the dividend is all still to come. But I just want to give you this update just to make you aware. If you do start seeing some crazy uh, red days on Torchlight next week, maybe the article has come out. And if it does come out, we will do an update video as well just to go through what they do say. But we can only imagine it's going to be related to those four questions. And if it is, it's pretty much covered with those four questions anyway. So this is not a worry for me. This is not a concern. But nevertheless, I want to make sure you got the updates so you're aware of what could potentially be happening in the upcoming week. If you appreciate all of that, please go ahead and smash the like and subscribe to my channel. I also have a Patreon where we put out exclusive videos, live streams and access to my buyers and sells. Thanks for watching and until next time.